I told you about the corpse. Remind me about the body. One day outside, people are in the yard, as you do. You know, you run outside, you frolic. You, you do your, 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 your lunch timing and your recesses and so on. And then, oh, look at that. Someone found a corpse in okay, the bushes. this is a new story. I don't remember. This is, no, I've definitely brought it up. A, cor- okay. a body has been discovered. Do, do, oh, do, cool. Do. <laughs> and, um, uh, you, yeah, you report that in. And then the yeah. office says, uh, everyone, go home. Go the fuck home. Just leave. Take your shit. Mm-hmm. Get out. Um, by the way, this has nothing to do with any of us. We don't know anything about this. This is not a student. This is, we don't know. We don't know nothing. And then the the, the doubling down the next day. Just, uh, hey, just letting all students know uh, there's no need to uh, spread any misinformation about the incidents of yesterday. Uh, it appeared that a homeless man uh, just f- fell asleep and passed out forever in the bushes. And uh, that's all. Single molecule that makes up your lips was part of a penis. But that gay memory water has already been blessed for the holy water for the baptism! Oh no! (laughs) And the proms tomorrow! Alright. What do we do? (laughs) The Holy Ghost can't be in that water. Uh. Well, boil your water, folks. Boil it. If you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. What's that? I can't hear you. What's that? Uh, what, what were you saying? I wasn't saying nothing. <laughs> if you. If you what? <laughs> If you what now? Huh? No, what what were you talking about? (laughs) Oh, man. Hmm. Fellas, is it gay to boil your water? (laughs) I I thought you were going to say... Uh, Mifa was going to show you her fish parts or whatever. And that's why you have to cry. Because she's dead now. Everyone's going to get to give you more <laughs> context for sadness. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing at the stu. Yeah, Mifa's going to show you her egg pile and just leave you in a room and you're going to have to... you have to just... You're just gonna have to egg it up, and then, then Link will wake stop. up and then pause. The stop. Too. Stop. Pause. You can find that, the mummified nope. egg pile. Nope. Um, you're gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna elaborate on egg it up. You're gonna break what? that term down and define it. What? Did I even say that? Egg it up. What? <laughs> define egging it up. Uh, he's got to inseminate the egg pile. This is egging it up. Yeah. <laughs> how does that work? Well, you do, it's, it's how fish does it. They dump the eggs on the floor, and then you dump your, your goo on the eggs. That's how my own term that I made and forgot about. You're also not, you're not dragging troops long enough. Oh, it's troops? It was a, troops. It was a troop. One million uh, troops. Because I'm just thinking, I just had this thought, which was, what if, what if the egg pile was too big for Link? Oh, okay. And, and then he turns and says, "Previous bit," and goes, "I, it's, I'm, I'm just one man. I need a million troops to egg it up." 
<laughs> That's his first spoken words. I get up, Muso. <laughs> you won't believe how many eggs we can display. A, a fucking spit off of Galgun. What is it? And as you hit the eggs, they go flying back like in giant waves, just like the, the <sighs> goblins. This is a this is a stupid bit. Oh man! Own it. No, no, that's uh, Eli's fault for sure. I bet. He's using that that he's using that charge to fuck people up, and uh, it looks yeah, that's some Spider Man. You know, what a what a good enemy faction to fight the guy with electricity powers, the one that are all using robotic technology. The what? It's almost as if the Spider-Man for this exact challenge has the right tools for the job. Yeah, almost. It's always. It's what always... is the downside to Miles's powers compared he... to Peter? He doesn't have the experience that Peter has. Like, is he just a, a straight upgrade? Yes, pretty much. <laughs> there okay. is none whatsoever. His the downsides of Miles is he is young and has to <laughs> learn. Oh, you mean besides the obvious? <laughs> That's not what I meant. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> chat is chat is being very bad. Uh huh. Bad chat. What's the downside of yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. No, but seriously, like he's just a like the invisibility and electricity is for free. Like he yeah. doesn't have shitty or spider sense. Been that nickname because when he met uh, Snoop Dogg backstage at a concert and he started like freestyling for him. Snoop Dogg mm -hmm. went, damn, use Lil Bow Wow. And then he's like, that's me now. Yep. You know what that means? Mm -hmm. Lil Bow Wow is better than every rapper you just named that gave themselves their own nickname <laughs> by default. He also hates the Lil and he dropped it. Because he is, because he is the realer of the rappers. Yeah, he's so real that he tweeted out a photo of him boarding a private jet going, yep, this is how I stay hustling. You know how it is. And then the person sitting next to him tweeted out a photo of him in fucking coach sitting next to him tweeting out that he was not on the private plane that he That's just implied so he was on. That's so brutal! The oh realest. Oh my god! The realest this Bow Wow described. That is described. so... Oh my god! Yeah, he's so real, Pat. Oh, I'm so glad I said that stupid thing so that he I could hear. Keeps the story. it 100. <laughs> That's so awful. That's so embarrassing. Oh my god. Just. Oh man. Oh man, what do you do? Wait, is it just pterodactyl? Pat, do you remember Beast Wars? Yeah, it, Pat, look at me. No, it, look at me. Look at me. Do you remember Beast Wars? Yeah. Do you remember the red guy? Yeah. Uh, what um, was his name? Uh, 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 what was his name? I forget his name. Pterosaur. Pterosaur, right. Pterosaur. Not Pterosaur. But why? No, it, what was he? What I was his animal? Was, I thought he was just named Pterosaur because Soar is the end of dinosaur names. Pterosaur. And he, he but, likes terror. But he turns into a... Pterodactyl. Yeah, but you see the naming pun. <laughs> Alright. Good bit. Wait. What? No, that's not... No! Good bit. That's not... The knees on your pants. It's really hard not to piss all over the toilet when the dog decides to jump into your pants while you're pissing. 
and rummaging around upside down. That's so when when you have a, a fat pig dog in the bathroom and you're taking a piss, either go ankles or balls only, no knees. How about I continue doing what I was doing and I pee like a normal person? What? And then we don't have to ever I did not pee on the dog. I didn't pee on the floor or the toilet either, all in the toilet. It was impressive. You'd be proud. <laughs> oh, bye, Wooly. Oh. Okay. This this is the Wooly and to everyone at home who is annoyed by the sounds of life occurring, but it appears that it, it is coffee time. So there okay. may or may not be coffee noises. Pardon? No. It's okay. So, um, then... Thank you, woman. <laughs> so, anyway... <laughs> right. So, anyway, Destiny gets deleted... <laughs> And then, um, fucking Master Chief Collection gets installed and everything gets updated, you know? Hey, uh, I have a, come to think of it, to piggyback off the story I just told, and what you're saying is like telling your kids what to do. Have you ever encountered, you know, you might have. I used to have a friend. I'm no longer friends. And the story will become a little clearer in the near future. Mm -hmm. Who uh, was always told by her parents over and over and over, you got to find a nice Jewish boy. And mm -hmm. that was the only thing they would accept, right? And over time, this morphed into a discussion in how happy she was with her new boyfriend who was, uh, I want to say he was Indian or maybe Pakistani. They're madly in love. Very quickly. And I'm like, oh, you think things are going to go well? And the, the line that comes back is, I'm so excited. Our babies are going to be like superhumans. I can't wait to breed the white out of my family. <laughs> and the, as the discussion <laughs> continued... <laughs> It, it became clear that this was the uh -huh. idea of, like, mm. the perfect future and the biggest fuck you to dad ever is mm. to just, like, oh, man, I, I'm going to have the most mixed kids I can get my hands on. And I'm like, how? Mm. I'm going to just back away from this whole... I'm out of here. I'm just... Wow, this is troubling. Sometimes, <laughs> some people yeah. that have those traits and or ideologies don't reveal them immediately. And sometimes you find out a couple dates in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I believe to use a term from a decade ago that they had the drums playing yeah. the whole time. And that you're sitting in the there, background of their mind. You're sitting there having a nice meal and you're enjoying a good time. And little did you know that the person sitting across from you is staring at you and they're hearing the drums. <laughs> and listen, listen. On a on a certain level, it is it is. A, I believe um, the Ballad of the Sad Cafe has the quote that said, um, "You know, in every relationship, there's the lover and the loved, and it is a it is a good thing to want to be desired." But there is a point. Where that gets really weird and unhealthy. <laughs> you know, and I, I look I look back in time and 
and I've had time to think about this, and I remembered a detail that you wouldn't think was important, right, about my former friend. Uh, the, the gentleman in question was not, uh, I never met the guy. He was not Indian or Pakistani. He was, in fact, Iranian. Um, and the reason why this matters is because I should have seen this in advance. And it was, oh, where is he from? Oh, he's Persian. Like, what? That's not a, that's not that, he's, you mean he's Iranian? No, no, he's Persian. And there was like this romance to it. And it's like, mm -hmm. that's not a mm -hmm. place mm -hmm. anymore. Why is this, uh, why are, why did this conversation become weird over, oh, where's he from? So I should have seen it coming, right? Maybe, maybe. But, but then just like, bam, like, oh, your liberal ass is going full eugenics despite your death. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? A fetching bachelorette that... from the Orient, you say. All right. Yeah, yeah. Listen. You, um, you, you enjoy that. Again, it's just there, there are times. There's been more than uh, one occasion, more than two, actually, where, you, you, you know, again, you meet somebody and, and uh, you discover whether it's delayed or immediately that it's like, hey, listen, you happen to be the right shade to get what I need to get across. <laughs> you got the chart on the door? Yep, that, right there. It's the reverse of the Family Guy airport chart? Good to go, you're good to go. And it's like, you got some stuff you gotta work out. You got you gotta work out some stuff. I can't help you work that stuff out, you know? Um, <laughs> it's a thing, it's not, constant but it's a thing and it has existed and uh sometimes it's been like yeah within you know hours and sometimes it's within a couple of dates and you're like oh boy did i not see that, that power like, level hidden because like, uh, like you, you and i have a the variation of that fear right yours is where is this coming from, right? And then mm -hmm. you do describe like, uh oh, only a couple of dates in. Like, what? If, what if? Like, the, I can only imagine the fear is, what if it was way more than a couple of dates in? This is the issue, right? of course. Yeah. Um, and, it, and I, I have had the opposite fear, which I've tried to, you know, as I as I got older, just mm -hmm. nip in the bud, just as fast as possible, and just like, what if? Do you remember? Uh, do you remember the Seinfeld episode where uh, Jerry is convinced this dentist converted to Judaism for the jokes? Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you remember what the the final punchline of that episode is? No. He's talking to his new girlfriend that he's been dating for a while, and uh, he's like, "Oh, dentists! Can you believe him?" She goes, "Oh, yeah." And don't get me started on the blacks and the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> And then it has a freeze frame of Seinfeld's boom, laughing boom, face. Boom. <laughs> right? Like, that's, that's, that's a fear. Yeah. I remember working retail, there'd be people that would come up to me to bitch. And just on the assumption that we were on the same team, like, I don't want to be on your team, man. Yeah. Well, I don't. Yeah. I'm, I, no, don't. No. It's the, no. Um, it's the, it's the clip of Dwight staring at something like yeah and then what's her name little blonde uh, the girl that he's that he uh, that was a, a thing uh, with Pam? him uh no 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 the the weirdo i forgot her name but she's behind him oh. and then dwight turns around and goes uh because it's like you're not, we're not on the same team get the fuck away from me it's <laughs> you know it's absolutely that uh, angela yeah angela yeah um it is it is it is a thing man and and, and like okay listen like as uh, you gotta be real too like you do, there's nothing wrong with some of that in there. You do want some of that, right? You want, you want a, a, a degree of the person you're with to be like, hey, I'm into you and what you are. That's healthy. Okay, that's what you mean by some of that. <laughs> Not Seinfeld. Not Seinfeld. Because I'm, like, I'm like narrowing my eyes very deeply. Because no. like, we talked about many topics. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we no, no. Talked no. about eugenics. You want, about. you, you, you definitely want, you know, 
the person to be into you. That's cool. Because in the background, I'm like, are you saying you only want one drum to be playing in the back of their mind? Yes! Yes! One! One drum is one. fine! One, one drum is acceptable. And there's other instruments. There's other instruments there. I believe... Yeah. I believe there's one drum playing in this house at all times. Okay. <laughs> I believe one. You know? It might be a djembe, but it is being played. But it's only one, and that's fine. I have no... That's okay, right? But there's a, there's a distance between, like, that and, um... What you're describing that can only be called spite genics. Yeah, you, what you don't want is for uh, the climactic scene of the film Drumline to be playing in the back of someone's head at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Featuring T.I. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Drumsticks in the air. Yo. We I march don't know. I watched that whole movie. That movie sucks. That movie had no uh, plots. Like, oh man, Ti's character can't read music, dude. Who can't? Who gives a shit? You just, yeah. Cause like, there's a point. There's a point where, as 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 you know, you you described earlier. It's just like, okay, there doesn't even need to be a per a person attached here. Like, I need my vengeance. <laughs> oh, it's Nick Cannon. Whatever. I always get Nick Cannon confused. I, I, I need my vengeance, and, and this quest involves parts of you, but quite frankly, you can go. Either way, I will have my revenge. My parents yeah. will suffer. You know? Um, yeah. Anyway. All right. Well, what, what happens? When you eugenics your family to spite people, and then those people eventually die. Like, do you now... No, I don't need you, children. Your, your purpose is over. Well, hopefully <laughs> you're, you're okay with them being around. In a, you know, hopefully you don't actually have a problem with it. You know? Because if, if it turns out your hatred of your parents was, like, only dwarfing... Uh, uh, your hatred of <laughs> like the person you're with and, and thus your kids, then yeah, we have a problem. You're 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 kind of a broken person. God bless. Mission accomplished. Mission all over. Scatter to the winds. Listen, everybody's got standards, but uh... revenge genetics. Holy fuck. <laughs> but revenge genetics should not enter into your standards, maybe. <laughs> hey, listen. Revenge genetics. That's it. That's it. You did it. You've created. Listen. You've created a new word. Listen. All I'm trying to say is, take the ads out of NBA 2K <laughs> 2K20. Oh my God! That's what we started talking about. Jesus Take Christ. the ads out of NBA 2K21. Take that's them all, out. That's all I'm Take trying to say. Out. Get it out of there. All right. All right. How do we... I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care. Hey, Willie, do you know of a comedian named John Lajoie? I do know Jean Lojean. Show me your genitals. Uh, Show me your genitalia. Yeah. I've seen him live when he came to Montreal. You seen him live? That's awesome. He's from yeah. here. Um, well, he, he do you remember? It was great. Also, he uh, wrote um, the fucking the cake song for Portal. Oh, did he? That's his song. Yeah. I don't think that's true, but okay. Still alive? Yeah. I believe. I'm pretty the, sure that's super wrong. Let me confirm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're thinking of Jonathan Colton. Ah, fuck. No, you're right. Yes, that's the wrong person. All right. Anyway, so John Loja had a bit a while ago. But before I get to that, Willie, do you remember Aiden Pierce's iconic cap? 
Yes. Where Ubisoft tried to portray that fucking black baseball cap yes. as iconic. Right. Now, do you remember the John Lajoie bit of pedophile glasses and rapist beard? I don't. Okay. He, you can go check it out on his, on his uh, YouTube channel. It's like it's a it's an ad to buy on on like a home shopping network. Try out pedophile glasses. Now comes with a free rapist beard. Okay. And all I can think of is that those those should be the iconic unlockable items in Watch Dogs Legions. Okay. Not Aiden Pierce's I got my family killed because I'm a moron baseball cap. I'm just hearing started as a baby. Itty bitty baby. Now look at me. Yeah. Now look at me. You know, Ubisoft, I really got to hand it to you for managing to become so much more obviously evil than EA and Activision in a rapid, rapid period of time. Months? Months? I feel like it was like literally the day that everyone was like, by the way, everyone at Ubisoft is a, in a position of power as a sex criminal. Seems <laughs> like the, the day that came out was like, mm, okay. I, th mm. I, think, I think it was one summer is the way to, <laughs> is, is about the, the, the measurement of time on that. Now, let's all be very real for a second. There is an invisible timer going off on all of our phones until EA and Activision also join the, I think everybody in a management position or above may in fact allegedly be a sex criminal. That clock is ticking down. I mean, the larger the company, the more people there, the more likely that chance occurs, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Ugh. Aren't brands awesome? Don't you just love brands? I love when I love brands brand. talk to each other on Twitter. I did like when Wendy's told Burger King that their mom was a hoe. That is, that is my favorite brand interaction. Did you like because... when, <laughs> when Microsoft said, who was, was it McDonald's? Uh, I don't even fucking, I can't, like, there was some sort of just banal fucking inter interaction between the two, whereas, I, I uh, whatever. I'm All right. Already, I'm already. So I'm, I'm going to send it. you an image, and I want you to just tell me if you remember it, of a brand attempting to be relatable. This is an ancient image. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. So I just sent Wooly a very old online McDonald's ad mm -hmm. made by the Boomerist, mm -hmm. which was this dude eyeing a double cheeseburger going, double cheeseburgers? I'd hit it. I'm a dollar menu guy. <laughs> yeah. I also... <laughs> That's the era. I remember yeah. that fucking era, mid aughts, where they also no, it was even earlier than that that they started putting together their commercials, which uh, had a announcer voice, announcer girl going the Mickey D's dollar menu, and like immediately that that terminology that people I knew at the time referred to McDonald's as died on the wire, just in mid air, fucking. To the ground, burn and and and, and fucking roast and die. They people would. people called it Mickey D's, and then they called it Mickey D's in a commercial, and that was it. It was over. Do do you uh, do you ever watch a um, uh, Internet Historian? Uh, no, but I know of. Okay, he he does good videos. Did you ever did you did you ever personally see the biggest brand relationship? relatability botch ever as reported on which was the DiGiorno debacle no what was that so this was a couple years ago and DiGiorno's 
saw a trending hashtag. And the trending hashtag was hashtag why I stayed. And DiGiorno's said, DiGiorno's media man said, ah, I'll know what I'll do. And said, because they had pizza, hashtag why I stayed. Now, they, saw, they must have seen the hashtag trending on the right side of Twitter, you know? But they failed to click on it because the why I stayed hashtag was exclusively dedicated to victims of domestic abuse describing why they did not, in fact, leave their abusers immediately, mm -hmm. such as, I was afraid for my children or mm -hmm. I was afraid they would track me down and murder me. Okay. And uh, along comes DiGiorno with... Because they had pizza. Uh, hey. That lasted like five minutes <laughs> and was replaced with multiple days of the DiGiorno account just apologizing to every tweet they received <laughs> in, a, in a groveling display. <laughs> Just uh, saw an opportunity, took it. That's what we like, do over here. Yeah. God. Yep. I, it ain't domestic. It's DiGiorno's. Let's go. For real. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah, was yeah. actually like. Come on. <laughs> it's yeah. So that that must have been. <laughs> Again, when you're hiring some savvy youth <laughs> to do this job, you you have to actually click on the hashtag and see what's being discussed, folks. Uh, yeah, yeah, just think about it. It's, all right, not too bad. To those of yeah, to our our listeners who uh you know have social media jobs, just click on the hashtag. Yeah. Now. You know who else was a little confused? I mean, that could be a lot of things. It's kind of open. Um, Terry Bogard was a little confused oh, yeah? this week. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why did, why did that bike fall over? Yeah, that's... He, so, what yeah, what that's caused just, his let's bike let's to fall over? talk about what really matters here. And I don't see does, anything why, how does in Terry the way. Not know how to ride a motorcycle. A motorcycle. Is there a banana peel on the ground? What? What's yeah. making the bike just up and fucking at him, as if it were like a horse, just flopping all over? And he he'd say he eats shit for no reason. And it's not like oh he wasn't paying attention and he hit something. Nothing was in his way, but the bike fell over. What and happened? Then the bike like jumped up in the air and like kind of. Elbow dropped him. It was weird. I think that's the real. That's the real question. That's the real mystery here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, not much to say about slapping your sister-in-law's ass. Don't do it. Wait, are they married? <sighs> I mean, I fucking hope so. <laughs> Like, she does the little walking baby gag 10 yeah. years ago. More, 20 years ago. At this point, just Isn't fucking. Isn't Kula like a high school student? K Dash, clone of. I don't know. I, I mean, they're. I think they're. How? I don't know. I don't. Kula Diamond is. K Dash, Kula, and Whip. How old are they? Fourteen. Eighteen. Ter ter mm? Eighteen in Days of Memories, but in the KOF series, she's fourteen. It says eighteen right here, top of a Google search. <laughs> hey, listen. SNK is aware of and deeply sorry about well, that game came out in, in 2000, so it was fun. Oh, my God. Uh, SNK is aware of and deeply sorry about the ad that somehow made it out there and advertised 
uh, not core values, as we would say. Some very non-core values on behalf of uh, Smash Brothers character Terry Bogard. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god, no. Oh no. Does he have to get taken out because he's no longer a good boy or girl? I'm just saying, sometimes when you decide to write a news headline for your outlet, you can choose to write the accurate headline, or you can just sniff up that sensationalism and be like, Smash Brothers character Terry Bogard grabs ass in new ad for SNK All-Star. <laughs> and you're just like, man, you can't even give Fatal Fury a half shout. <laughs> like, you need you need to fucking dunk it as hard. You need to go tattling on on uh, <laughs> on, on Nintendo. <laughs> you gotta go, hey Sakurai, did you see what happened with your boy? Talk to your boy, Sakurai. No, KOF All Star did one of those on? did one of those stupid ads that you see, and they're the most obnoxious, annoying things ever. And we've laughed in the past about how weird some of them get. Because mobile game ads... That's how King of Fighters works, man. Mobile game ads seem to be based on, like, frustrating you into clicking. You know? I guess if it's like, we're showing this to anybody who... Probably some kids. Um, probably someone who's just, whatever, like, just cow clicking. And you see some shit where it's like, okay, here's like a demo of video of a game being played very, very poorly. And it shows a guy going slowly into some spikes. And oh no, only you can save him. Oh god, he's getting hit by the spikes. And then there's another one where it's just like, the zombies are invading. And they look like they're an amazing photorealistic 4K. And then let's zoom in on this zombie hunter's ass jiggle as she fires her shots. And you know... Just, just fucking dreck, where they're just like, we're just lying about what you're about to click on here, by the way. There's no regulation or anything to, to, to tell them, hey, you can't Mobile lie about that. Mobile game ads are, they just hit different, man. They're currently the Wild West, and yes, they're built different, is how I describe it. Um, it, it it's, it's fucking absolute no rules, no holes barred, do what you want right now promise if they click they will get money and then just end up sticking them with the shit game it doesn't matter what you say or do so for whatever uh, 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 that means KOF All Star is the mobile game they've been pushing for a while now and there's been some funny ass ads for that thing a couple of friends uh, uh, I have of, of you know a couple of friends have shown up in those ads a couple of familiar faces have been like, yeah, KOF All Star, um, but you know, you whatever you want to keep it making money, and then so whatever the team is that uh, is marketing this has nothing to do with actual SNK proper. Just takes the brand and goes, all right, people who make mobile game ads, here you go. It's a bunch of King of Fighters characters. Figure something out. Get people to buy this game. So they do what they do best, and they render out. Um, a fucking Oscar worthy 15 seconds I laughed I cried I don't know about you I, I fucking experienced highs and lows learning about the, 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 the struggle of Terry Bogard uh, the scene opens with Mai Shiranui uh, Blue Mary and Kula Diamond sitting at a outdoor stand for like a sushi stand kind of thing and uh, Terry Bogard revs up that motorcycle he's famously known for and goes, hey, come on, come on, and drives slowly by and in very, very, like, detailed animation, triple slaps all those asses as he drives by. The jiggle hey, is intact. come on, come on. <laughs> Pap, pap, pap. And keeps going. And then drives... And then we they all go, what? Huh? And look over and see Terry driving by to, to get away. But oh no! The bike 
shits up on him attacks and falls him. over. <laughs> it attacks him. And then he falls on his ass and he looks stupid. And then the ladies get up and they go, oh, we're going to show him. And then they gingerly walk over and surround him like, now you're going to get like it, mister. Start to a pornography. And he's all like, oh, no, shit. <laughs> and uh, then it goes, hey, KOF All-Star. It has something to do with what you just watched. Click the fucking thing. Did you click the thing? Click the fucking thing already. You, you ever, fucking doing? You ever see the How dare you not click? Ad? Which one's that? It's the one where Lily, she's like a farm girl with like short hair. She takes a pregnancy test and oh no, she's pregnant. So she runs over to her mm -hmm. douche bro husband mm -hmm. guy to fucking read a newspaper and then like shows it to him and he, then it, it hard cuts to him on a scooter just like driving as fast as he can into the sunset. Mm -hmm. And then it mm -hmm. hard cuts to her on the porch just bawling her eyes out and then she looks up and smiles and goes hey, hey, and like takes one of the, the lines off the pregnancy test because she's not actually pregnant and then the the ad for the, the logo for the game Lily's Garden play now comes in and you're like yep what what is what the hell is that yep yep um you ever see that one for like I don't know, but it's some sort of like, uh, uh, like ancient Chinese dynasty themed game. Oh yeah, where you level up your wife. <laughs> There's like a ton of them, and they're all like either leveling up your wife and making her go from plain Jane into, um, you know, empress empress of the castle. Um, and then I do believe the one that I saw. Uh, was, uh oh, this baby came out way too dark. That's true. And that's a problem. It is. That's that's not. Daddy doesn't want to see that. Uh oh. Click here to solve the problem. We fixed it. Good daughter now. Mobile game ads are a fucking trip, as, as, as we started our thesis statement here. Um, SNK getting caught in the crossfire here. <sighs> I mean, on the one hand, like, approve your shit and keep an eye on it. On the other hand, it's like getting into the fucking crack game and then being like, oh no, shit, we didn't mean... For the crack to get into the hands of the kids, though. So, you know those Mafia City ads? The one everybody knows about? Mm hmm. Probably the, the... It's the best example of the thing that most people aren't even aware of about the mobile ads. Is that when they have, like, a, a hot game, they will make so many of them. There's a video on YouTube that I just found, which is the 2019 Mafia City ads, and it's almost an hour long. Of these, like, 15-second ads. There are so many. The crux, again, <laughs> is someone sits, someone sits down at a computer and says, like, What's the most weird, shocking, upsetting, or otherwise irksome thing I can show you in 10 seconds? And then they find it, and then it's like, okay, now, now take that and somehow use a character from one of our games. And then or do that. Or just not. Well, or just have it be Goku. Well, yes, uh, like ha a bunch of the times it really is just like, oh yeah, no, that's just Goku. But... Like, there's these two, like, this game fucking, like, Homescapes and Gardenscapes with this bald guy. And it's like, what the fuck genre is this thing? Because the 18 ads you've been forced to, to watch for this game show it to be a platformer, uh, uh, a, a side-scrolling puzzle game, uh, a, a, a military tactical game. 
Like, the cap, like, nothing makes consistent sense in any of the ads for it. My favorite ones are the ones that, like, the ad is, like, uh, looks like goddamn deep down. And then it's, like a, like, a clicker with, like, the shittiest sprites in the world. It's great. I love it. Um, love it. Anyway, I'm just I'm just happy to say that now uh, there is a new existing canon Terry Bogard in the lore that might have his own reality. He might have his own dimension, but if they ever had to have Forever Terry, where they gather all the Terrys, if they ever had to have oh, a you sexual know, harasser Terry, he's there. He's locked in. He's canon. He's showing up. You can't he pretend it doesn't way exist. way worse than the other Terrys for some reason. <laughs> if you had to unite, you could unite all the Spider-Mans. You can you, you dig up everyone, including Hostess Pies Spider-Man. Then yeah, big old creepo creep bag Terry with the shit motorcycle absolutely exists. That's great. <sighs> Did you know that after the first ass slap, which is quarter circle back, half circle forward, you've got to do a quarter circle for every subsequent one, like SVC Chaos? I didn't know that. Usually all three come out like boom, boom, boom. But only for this unique circumstance. There's extra inputs. That's terrible. I was like, uh-oh, no, now there's a reason for Splatoon to have beef with Nintendo, where there was none, you know? All right. Um, <coughs> Wait, hold on, look at this. Mm-hmm, yep. I'm fully expecting to be sent a picture of just stink lines on their own. <laughs> no, shut up. Oh, yeah, look, hey, look at... Oh, wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Would you look at that? It's literally exactly what I just said it would be. It is 1,000% exactly the thing that I said it would be. Look at that. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway. He just, he just tweeted out a picture of Smash with the stink lines on it, and it's just, oh, yeah, okay. Right. It, it says, ew, stinky. On it. Never stop subverting <laughs> expectations. Uh. <laughs> oh, Foxcade liked it. Thanks, man. <laughs> Yakuza, Yakuza 6 has the only example I can think of in any game, oh my god. <laughs> so if you go if you go to my tweet about the Smash Brothers thing, underneath it. Foxgate posted that weird baboon with the lipstick, and the dog hates it. The dog is freaking out. Oh, God. Okay, I'm like, what the fuck is happening over there? Sounds like, <laughs> I'm like, sounds like something really bad is happening to Zangief. He hates it. He's going to fight that baboon with the lipstick. Right, that one. <laughs> <laughs> buddy, buddy, hey, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I, I clicked away. I clicked away from the bed. Was it all? Of, was it on the big screen? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you on the TV. you put it on the big screen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. No. Um. He does um, not return to Monk. He does not want it. Oh, he, he does it. not like Monkey. No. That is not. I I don't know what I thought was gonna happen today, but I sure didn't think that I would discover that my six month old bulldog fucking hates monkeys or lipstick. I got scared. 
he's protecting you. That's really oh sweet. God, he's protecting. He's like, I mean, he's like he's, I've seen, I've seen footage of dogs freaking out at the TV when there's a the character select screen for whatever uh, 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 for the game where the character charges at the screen, makes the dog panic oh, and freaks out. So it's like, okay, yeah, it thinks a person's running at them. That's fine. This is just a fucking dumb monkey. Zangief. Wow. Zangief, hey. The new Apex you character. Good job, you protected right, us. Okay. That's real good. <sighs> All right. Man, you ever just randomly find out a a music composer is just full on crazy racist out of nowhere? Yeah, that shit's wild. Not to fucking completely swerve on it, but I'm just, I'm, yeah, it's it's uh that story. Yeah, full, full on like ninety year old man that you're like, hey, what you feel? You guys feel bad about World War Two? And he's like, yeah, we didn't go far enough. And you're like, all right, I'm gonna get out of this conversation as fast as I possibly can. You want to talk about Dragon Quest? No. Let's just put the old man in the corner, please. Hey, man, how you feel about Eric Clapton? You like his music? I don't know who that is. Oh, really? Eric Clapton? That sounds familiar. Layla? I'm, my mom probably listened to Eric Clapton. Tears in Heaven? Uh, you got me on my knees, Layla. Da, da, da. Okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah, right? Um, yeah. What's would you know my name if you saw me in heaven? Right, that guy? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah so soft songs, usually little ballads. Overall, pretty known. Oh, here's a nice quote. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's that guy that makes the soft ballad songs, and it is what it is. And then, uh, you know, uh, I, he unfortunately lost a son, and, and, and you're like, man, that, that's a sad thing. And then that was the extent of my, my knowledge and overall awareness of this. And then someone's like, hey, by the way, did you hear what he said into a, to a crowd in England back in the 70s? And I'm like, what did he say? And, and I, they're like, oh, some was, not great stuff. <laughs> I was going to... I was gonna read out this embarrassing. Oh quote, yeah! And then I no, read, by all means, and then I, though. Then I, nah, I'm good. How I bad? Read the second half of it. And how like, I bad don't think can I it be? Say any of that? It how be pretty bad? You know. You know. Uh, like it can't be that bad. Like it's just are, a lot of people were not sensitive back in the day, and they kind of said are, stuff. And it was there what it was. Three instances in this quote of the phrase get the blanks out in I mean, of England. Listen, listen. We all everyone had their moments and they were sometimes taken out of context and perhaps there's just some depreciated language. So you find out you find out about that, and you go, hey, man, it was a long time ago. What's the big deal? You know? Anyway. So, yeah, Dragon Quest Eleven S is a really complicated version of the game because it is mechanically superior, but it is very graphically inferior. Um, and I spent, like, a little while messing around with like back end, you know when you go to a game's options and you go into the any and you just do we have in. any foreigners in the audience tonight if so please put your hands up so where are you well wherever you are i think you should all leave well not just leave the hall leave our country i don't want you here in my room or in my country listen to me man i think we should send them all back stop britain from becoming a black colony get the foreigners out get the wogs out get the coons out keep britain white You're very brave to have read that. Uh, and, I am, and I am very smart for not having read that. You get it, Eric Clapton. Clapton. You oh, get man. it. It's good. It's good. Do your thing. I just want to talk about it. Speak right your there. truth. Say it with your chest. <laughs> Say it off your chest. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yep. Sorry. It just... That one hit me like... 
Ooh, 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 he's all in. He's on. He's in big. So when you brought up the this composer, was on, this was on like a stage. This was yeah, like yeah, event. yeah, yeah. No, totally right on live event. Like not back room recording with someone going, "Oh fuck, what?" Like to the crowd. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, you know, you just kind of go like, wow, the fucking Layla guy. Hey, man, as long as we're talking about big stars that do a very big sudden heel turn, I don't think anybody's ever going to beat Liam Neeson, ever. Oh, man. Ever. Well, hey. Nothing. No. Nothing. No, now you hold on. You wait, all right? Liam Neeson... Was a he's a fine gentleman, and he was just upset about recent events, so he needed to find himself a black bastard. <laughs> so people are saying Mel Gibson, nah, -uh, nah. -uh. He needed to find a black bastard, <laughs> and that's and that's all he wanted. That, he that was, was that was so people don't know. And so what it was is that a friend of him had been a, the victim of a yeah! crime by a black person. Uh -huh. And so Liam Neeson's response as a young man was, I, so I went around to a bunch of bars and started shit in the hopes that I could just kill a black person. I was looking for, he was looking for some trouble. He was feeling a little bit wayward. And uh, he was looking for a black bastard. <laughs> And I think the weirdest thing about yeah. that story is that you he know? told it really recently. Mm. He told he was... that like two years ago. Yeah, because he was and... talking about how he confronted his own issues and how he had to come to terms with his feelings one time. So he basically uh, he put that out there himself, he did. And, and you and... know... He just let, let the world know. He so, let everybody so you know. Watch, and I don't watch that interview. Oh, I sure did. And I'm like, is there the, is there is nothing wrong with letting people know how you feel. Let them know. Was, there was a there was a really bizarre the, the the bizarrest moment was not that he casually admitted to. Yeah, you know, I thought about hanging around for a couple weeks, committing a you know a hate murder. Um against a random person. <laughs> yeah. Um but he's telling the story in in the context of like well you know no one's perfect. Everybody's had their their hang-ups in their past. I mean I as a youth briefly attempted uh to commit a series of hate crimes and was unsuccessful. Everybody's got their stuff and like that you you watch the interviewer just start to just <laughs> and recede and just like what? No, that's not true. Become that's not a part true. of the chair. Listen, <laughs> listen man. I I I hear you and you can say what you want. I fully encourage, endorse, and absolutely support anybody who just, who has those feelings, who has it sitting inside, just, you gotta get it off. You gotta get it out there. You know, don't, don't walk around every day pretending that everything's all right. It's therapeutic. Get it out there. You know, and then once you say it, you... Ah, you just, you can breathe, you're lighter, you know, your sinuses get cleared up. Just let it out. Let it out. Let's hear it. Let me hear all of it, baby. Bring it to me. I love it. You know? Oh. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's the, it's the best, you know? Liam, Liam Neeson, I'm more than will. I could have been that black bastard. <laughs> I could have been that guy. And I, and I would have loved to have heard the the opinions it, it it's you know anyway let's not uh, let's not discourage so people Quest from S speaking is, their truth it, it doesn't look as good but you can go into the innie and you can you can turn on better foliage and better anti-aliasing so if you actually want to do that i'll just retweet the innie thing that i used <laughs> What else? What the fuck else did I do this week? It was totally. totally. 
<sighs> anyway, so yeah, uh, another example. I don't example. like Yakuza 6 very much. I don't think it's very good. So another example of uh, a moment in Japan where a character that is otherwise a uh, piece of shit, unforgivable garbage gets some sappy treatment. Got it. How you liking Yakuza 0? So far, fucking excellent. Did you pull it up again? What? Now that's not I cool. Need it. Stop. I need to know. No, stop. I need that, it. Now you're, no, no, stop it. Now you're, now you're bothering Zangief. That's not cool. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's not cool. Stop. You're very brave. Don't agitate the dog on purpose. <laughs> He's protecting us. If you're putting fucking cucumbers down to fuck up your, your cat, that shit sucks too. Don't do it. Oh, you never trolled your dog before? Don't get him agitated. Him a... He's not agitated. He's protecting me. Uh, so one more time. B-A-B-B-E-L dot com and use promo code CASTLE. Thanks, Babel. How you doing? I just learned the most cursed knowledge of all. The most cursed knowledge man could know. Are you ready for this? Hit me. Do you want to get the cursed knowledge? I've been cursed in many ways before. Did you know? that a lack of Sonic the Hedgehog can be a contributing cause to erectile dysfunction. <laughs> and which institute brings us this case study? What, uh... Dot plaws dot org article. Hold on, I'll send it to you. Don't bother. Just, uh... We're, I've said we're, we're good. Erectile dysfunction is debilitating, blah, 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 blah. A critical regulator of penile smooth muscle and apoptosis is the secreted protein Sonic Hedgehog. Mm. <laughs> Remember when they named a, 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 a DNA strand after Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh my god, that thing? <laughs> oh, that came back to haunt us? Yeah, it's super the, the Sonic Hedgehog protein from years ago? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, God if you damn it. If you can't get it up, you need to get more Sonic Hedgehog Fuck. in your penis. You see what happens when you fuck around... <laughs> Fucking naming rocks on on planets on the moon and on planets like fucking Scooby Doo and Snagglepuss and shit. Fucking nerd scientists naming shit. This is what happens when it comes back around when the chickens come home they've to been, roost. They have been testing injecting Sonic Hedgehog into rat penises to see if the dicks get hard. Oh my god! And they everybody. Do. Everybody has to stick with this. Can you imagine the faces <laughs> of, like, <laughs> senior professors and, like, super legitimate researchers typing this out and just it rolling says, their eyes every time? It says a lot that in the abstract that I sent you, the very first time it is mentioned, they call it Sonic Hedgehog, and then in brackets S H H, and mm -hmm. then never mention it. And by then S H H for the again. rest of the description. Yep. Yeah, they they refuse to use the full name ever again. The, oh. the S H H protein. God. It Fucking... is hypothesized that decreased S H H protein is an underlying cause of erectile dysfunction development in prostateectomy and diabetic patients. Our results show significantly decreased Sonic Hedgehog 
in prostate ectomy and diabetic penis. Shh. That's right. <laughs> if you have diabetes, you have less Sonic the Hedgehog in your penis than the average man. Like, nobody wins here. The person who named it doesn't win. Sega oh. doesn't win. The researchers don't win. The person who named it totally wins. What are you talking about? But the person who named it is not going for this kind of, like, fame oh, with it. That's exactly what they're going for. That's the, that's the ultimate win. They're going for wholesome, yay, look, I named it after my favorite video game, like, type of fame. They're not going after dick don't work fame. <laughs> like this, That ain't the fame is, you want. This is, this is like... <laughs> dick don't work fame ain't the good fame. That's the bad is, fame. Is, we need to get, get in on this because, like, can you imagine the cure for cancer is the newly discovered protein G.G. Allen was a genius? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir, I'll cure that cancer for you. You just need to shoot you up with some G.G. Allen. Ah, uh, this is awful. <laughs> this is awful. And people for years from now are going to have to read this, and they're going to have to read other articles extrapolated from this. Oh, yeah. no, we've discovered a Bam Margera tumor inside you. Oh, no. The only way to get yeah. it out is to chase it out with snakes. Crash Bandicoot is really great at decreasing AIDS when it's active after HIV. You can take some prep to stop it initially, but Crash Bandicoot works wonders. We need to study Crash Bandicoot more. Yeah. Um, listen, man. Fucking... <laughs> cursed is right. Cursed is right. Yeah, it's so cursed. Yeah, that's cursed. It's very cursed. Uh, <sighs> yeah. Here's you know, I, I got us From the universe... I gotta say, it's a. Uh, it really is weird, like the fact that you know we are in a new video game console generation, and it just doesn't feel like it. Uh, or everything rather, uh, uh, launching on Xbone and uh, X XX and uh, PS5. But um, a couple of announcements uh, uh, alongside this stuff. One. Uh, Apparently, someone's remastering Blood Rain 1 and 2. So if you missed yeah, out on... Shut up! If you missed out on Blood Rain, now is shit. time for Blood Rain. This is terrible! Uwe Ball presents Blood Rain. Ziggurat Interactive... Shut up. Shut up releases Blood Rain and Blood Rain 2 enhanced respectively titled Blood Rain Terminal Cut and Blood Rain 2 oh, Terminal Cut for PC via Steam and GOG. Wait, what? It's a Terminal Cut again? That doesn't make any sense. Blood Rain Terminal Cut and Blood Rain 2 Terminal Cut for PC via Steam yes, and good old terrible. games on November 20th. If you currently... Hey! 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 <laughs> That's terrible. Hey, wait! Hold on! If you currently own Blood Rain... <laughs> if you currently own Blood Rain or Blood Rain 2 on Steam... You will receive Terminal Cut and Blood Rain 2 Terminal Cut for free. Yo, you guys, you already got the game. You already have Uno. You already have it. You guys are, you, All like, right. I can't believe everyone listening to this already owns Blood Rain and Blood Rain 2 Terminal Cut. Excuse me, Blood Rain Terminal Cut and Blood Rain 2 Terminal Cut. This is terrible. I like upgrades. I'm I'm a fan. I have a much fuck that. I'm 
Fuck, shut up. I'm just going to quote the New York Times from 1994 for a minute or two. Naming the varieties of hedgehog genes which play a key role in embryo development has been a source of friction amongst research teams. One group wanted to give the varieties numbers, another letters. Dr. Clifford J. Tab, and developmental biologist at Harvard Medical, suggested they each name uh, every newly detected gene after a species of real hedgehog. This scheme stuck for the first three, which were designated Indian, Moon Rat, and Desert Hedgehog. The third-person horror Dr. action series Blood Rain introduced gamers to Rain, a brutal <laughs> half-vampire femme fatale traveling the world to foil Nazi plans, battle supernatural threats, and uncover more about her vampiric heritage. Featuring a unique protagonist, fax action Riddle, combat, vampiric Dr. powers, and globe-spanning storyline, Blood Rain and Blood Rain 2 offered a dynamic and visceral gameplay experience beloved by fans and critics alike. And Blood Rain became a true cross-media phenomenon spanning game. games, comics, and, and films across the early 2000s. The new name. Saying it trivializes a noble molecule. Optimizations include support for higher display resolutions, improved rendering, upscaled cinematics, support for modern game pads. Localizations include fully voiced localized characters in English, French, Italian, and French, Spanish. Optimized. Ziggurat Interactive President Wade Rosen said in a press release, Fans have been asking, what's next for Blood Ray? <laughs> We're excited to show off the great work that's been done by Terminal Reality on the first two titles. It's <laughs> so stupid. All right, let's uh, you get over to emails. Do we have any other actual news? Went into, uh, we revisited Arcus Chroma, which is a really awesome indie fighting game by GX Grain Sun. I highly recommend uh, everyone go check it out. It's on his uh, itch.io, so it's a gxgrainsun.io, I believe. Um, it is a uh, neat little fighting game where you have uh, these very, like, very like you it, it, it's like a fun art style that's very much his own with a lot of colors that are very much his own and a style and a just an, an, a mood and an aesthetic that I really dig um, and the game feel is fantastic because it's essentially a simple fighting game in the sense that it's got uh, light medium heavy uh, burst and dodge and a throw rather and there's no jump. So, all aerial movement is completely denied, and it's all about uh, bobbing and weaving back and forth with a nice little Dudley-style ducking, or... Willie, can I ask you to hold that thought for a bit? I have to take a quick break. Do what you gotta quite do. quickly. Short period. 2,000 years later. Hey, we're back. What happened? So, to video viewers of the live variety, this will be a little more clear, but I'll break down what happened over the last uh, five minutes. The wonderful Cat Elmo, a fluffy boy that I love very much, came over, and I was a-petting on him. And then I uh, picked up the cat, and as I held the cat, I thought to myself... Does this cat have an entire log of shit stuck in his butt hair? And I put down the cat, and I stared at him, and sure enough, he had a grape-sized dingleberry ah. dangling off of his butt, uh. <laughs> which I just handled personally. No. No. So... I had to call down Peach Saliva ah. so she hold the cat as we extracted the poop from his butt. <sighs> I love that cat. He is a little old. So occasionally he doesn't do the best job with the pooping. So we have to I, help him. I will take a million piss-stained couch 
fucking moments over that. I th- oh, oh, that's what about one. wiping a dog's butt? You ever wiped a dog's butt before? I mean, as long as that's the only place you have to focus on, you don't want a crime scene. Yeah, because 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 bulldogs, their 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 butts are weird, so you got to wipe their butt. I, that's fine. Just food. as as long as the crime like scene, they're a baby. As long as it's localized entirely to the the <laughs> the source, if you would, the spawn point. You know, don't 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 let it escape. Don't. Oh God. All right. Well, you did a very good job uh, at at hiding Thank you. that, and uh, I feel as if you are continuing well, to. Um, want to hide it per se. I mainly just didn't want a bunch of cat shit to fly out onto the screen. Well, Did so far, know? yeah, so far as the as the um the 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 pet excretion issue has increased in frequency, um there has been a uh a healthy lack of visual uh horror um and you've kept it off camera, so that's good. So I'm, I'm well, glad I about mean, that. Elmo's getting a little older, so sometimes he do the 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 you know. Uh, and Geef, however, is getting older, and he doesn't have accidents anymore. Okay. Well, he's uh he always goes to the door and goes <laughs> and we let him out. The, and then he the, tries uh, to eat apple cores off the street, but then he pees. The Venn diagram of the age problem is is not overlapping at maximum anymore. No. Okay. There was a there was a very short period. There was one day where the cat, like, pooped and, like, peed and got pee on his paws, and then the dog shit all over the bathroom at the same time. <sighs> and that was the day. All right, well, you know. That was the day. That was the nom level pet ownership. Level, <laughs> level one <laughs> alert is, uh, oh, fuck, BRB. Level two alert is when I can see the reason for the BRB. Level and three is you can smell it. Level three is is, is they can hear it on the MP3. <laughs> that's you know that's that's level three. I I never thought it would happen like this, but the day we got Zangief and he was the tiniest little baby puppy. He took the steamingest diarrhea ever directly onto our bedroom floor, and it made like the <laughs> splatter butthole flapper noise for like 20 seconds, and I couldn't good. believe it. I was in awe. It's good. It's like he was firing it out of a backed up squirt gun. It's good. Like that hippo farting video. But he was a tiny little baby puppy, he was so small. Hey, if you ever feel like ruining your day, go go YouTube hippo fart. All right, All right. I'll go ruin my day right now. Don't don't you? Well, hey, you you know I'm still like that. I'll, I'll look. Wait, why why is the autocomplete explosion? <laughs> <laughs> why is the auto? I'll watch this. I'll watch anything. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now I gotta skip to the part that you gotta get to the good part. I mean, it it, it goes. It's got. That's it's, pretty funny. It's got. That's some, pretty good. Yep. yep. Good for him. Yep. That's um. Well, anyway. Um. There's uh, there's some length on it. Hey, I would like to apologize to GX Grainson for interrupting. Uh, me talking about his great video game <laughs> with a uh, detour into pet and eventually hippo farts. Uh, that's hey, not man. the respect your game deserves. That's fighting games. That's fighting games right there. That's not where you never I know what you're gonna get. intended this discussion to go, but here we are. And uh, no, the game is better than that, and it deserves uh, to, to have some respect put on its name. So uh, Arcus Chroma is, is what it's called, and... <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was a good one. It, it blew up the floor. But does it save the entire franchise or just that specific entry? 
because no, I'm just saying. Wait, what entry? No, stop, stop it. There's only no. This no, I refuse this. Oh, I'm, I'm I, sorry. I Are you unaware? This. No, Fate Stay no, Night is. I'm not unaware. Fate I Stay refuse. Night is step one. No. You, you also got no. your your Fate Hollow Ataraxia, your Tiger Coliseum, Fate Unlimited no, Codes, Fate stop. Extra, Fate Grand I... Order. Fate Extelia, no, Fate look, Zero, Fate Kyliad, Inner Prisma Ilia, Fate Apocrophia, Fate Strange Fake, The Case of Lord L. Malloy II, Today's Menu for the EMEA Family. No? <laughs> okay, no. No, this is, this is how I'm going to live my life. Oh, people are into that fate, huh? There's one show called Fate, and it's just really long and inconsistent. Oh, that, I was just talking about the video <laughs> games and print media. Um, if you're okay. talking about the TV show and the anime, then you got Fate Stay Night, Zero, right. Fate Kyliad, Inner Prisma Ilia, Two Way. You got uh, Unlimited Blade Works, Fate Apoc Ap Apocrypha. Fate Today's Menu for the Amiya Family, Fate Last Encore. Yeah, forget with the menu! Yeah, it's the anime version this time. Uh, Fate Rail Zeppelin Grace Note, Fate Absolute Demonic Front Babylonia. Hey, that's a pretty cool name. Then you got Fate Vow in the Snow, Fate Heaven's Feel, Presage Flower, Lost Butterfly Spring Song. While you continue to do this, I will have a dance party with my dog. Da 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 da, da 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 da, ba ba da ba ba da. We're done. We're done. Are we done? Fate Carnival Phantasm. I knew it. I knew it. Hey, I have a question. This this shit sounds super cool. What should I start with? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I... Here's this. <laughs> Without any form of understanding or guide whatsoever, I am going to guess based on nothing, on just osmosis, that... Fate Stay Night is where it started, so you should probably start there. And then the other one people talk about is Fate Zero. And then everyone hates Grand Order, but it seems to also be important. So then there's that. So if, uh, my guess with no fucking anything out of my ass, out of the fourth ass chamber, I'm saying stay night and then zero and then go, but beware that go is bad. This is what I think is <laughs> the or the watching order for things. All right. <laughs> so, to my knowledge... The actual route, if you want to watch a Fate anime, is you must first play and beat all roots of the 2004 visual novel. Because every single anime after that is an adaptation of various parts of varying quality. Which means, hey, I'd like to watch an uh, anime. Okay, let me just crack out this completionist 99 and a half hour end yeah no thanks hey you big fan of saga frontier no i think those games are terrible oh well saga frontier which was uh from that era of 1998, the good fucking years, and not just, oh, you know, okay, damn it, 
you realize that talk ex talking about how good 96 and 98 were is going to yeah. eventually just become boomer talk what even do you though those mean eventually okay but they really what were do you though mean eventually that was 25 years ago but they really were that good though <laughs> It's not just like talking about the summer of 69. I'm not just singing no, fucking... No, shut up. It, it's exactly like that. Because when people were talking about the summer of 69, it was 1986. <laughs> Those were the best days of my life. And it's like, yeah, yeah, we get it. 69 ruled, whatever. But you don't get it, though. 96 and 98 were fucking awesome. <laughs> you know what? Man, fuck the baby boomers. Man, 1998 was so incredible. Fucking Oak Reed at a time, and, and Metal Gear Solid came out. What's so big deal about the summer 69? Dude, I had so much unprotected sex at every music festival. Because diseases basically didn't exist. And then we did the AIDS. Oopsie doodle. Thanks, boomers. That's a pretty succinct summary of how it went down. <laughs> While you were out there catching syphilis, I was putting my controller on the floor. Oh. <laughs> God, I hate it. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, Sagar Frontier is getting remastered it for summer it. 2021. Those games are trash. Never, never played them. Good. You're a better person. It was in that era, There's though. One... I assumed There's they one. ruled because they came from 1998. That's literally what, what my, yeah, my, guess my what? brain did. I also assumed that in 1998 because I went to the store and a guy said, Hey, man, do you like FF7? Suck Frontier, man. This is made by the same company. It'll be just like FF7. And it went, wow, cool. And I brought it home and it was shit. Though it does have one really cool part where you're playing as red and you're trying to kill your brother blue and then you get to the final boss fight against blue and if blue wins and beats you, blue becomes the new main character. Whoa, that is pretty and then, cool. And then you, then you finish the rest of that guy's campaign as blue. That's fucking incredible. Yeah, yeah. It's a, that part's actually really cool. I mean, was there anything about 1998 that didn't rule? All right. Ocarina of Time, Tekken 3, Half-Life, Metal Gear Solid, Resident Evil 2, Street Fighter Alpha 3, StarCraft, Pranzer Dragoon Saga, Banjo-Kazooie, Baldur's Gate, Grim Fandango, ISS, <laughs> NFL Blitz, Xenogears, Turok 2, Unreal, Okay, well, the ice storm happened. F-Zero X. An earthquake in Afghanistan killed 5,000 people. Uh, oh, was that the year of the referendum? I guess it might have been, yeah. Okay, I hear that. Tornadoes in Central Florida destroy 2,600 structures and kill 42 people. Okay. January 12th, Marvel vs. Capcom, Clash of Superheroes. Devaluation of the ruble loses 70% of its value against the U.S. dollar in six months. February 26th, Tenchu Stealth Assassins and X-Men vs. Street Fighter. 
Quebec demands independence from Canada. <laughs> March 19th, Real Bout 2, Fatal Fury, The Newcomers. Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit. KOF 97, Parasite Eve. Starcraft. Armageddon came out that year. Oh, American Godzilla came out that year! Commandos behind enemy lines! France won the World Cup. Brave Fencer Musashi and Radiant Silver Gun. Pokemon Stadium. Uh, oil pipeline running through a village in Nigeria explodes, killing 700 people with the resulting fire burning for nearly a week. Rainbow Six. Spyro the Dragon. Pokemon <laughs> Yellow. Suicoden. You're right. Suicoden pushed it over. Man, that game's great. Shogo Medieval. No, you don't have to, man. That's Fallout 2. So good. Age oh, of Empires. Man. Age of Empires. Oddworld. Half Life. Oh, it was a good year. Did you say Tekken already? I sure did. Mario Party did 1. Did you say Tribes? Rogue Squadron. I did not say tribes. Tribes came out. Akuji the Heartless. Oh, Get fucked. Teddy snowboarding. Do you understand? Like, what Baldur's the like? Gate one. Did you oh, not hear man. me? Were you just sh were you just shutting it all out? I was were looking you? at people getting blown up in oil fires. Thank you. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I was looking at a list of bad things that happened. Yeah, so, anyway, can you, like, like, it's funny how, you know what's not on that list? KOF 98. What's that? <laughs> yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's funny, yeah. But, look at that. Like, I'm not talking about no fucking Summer of 69 shit, man. When we talk what? about how good 98 was, that's a fucking receipt. That is a receipt. You know what the diff you know what hey you know what the difference is between the summer of 69 is and 1998 in video games You can go play the video games that came out in 1998 You can't track down and screw all those old people that got syphilis in 69 or if you can you shouldn't It's gross some of them are probably skeletons. Case closed. Yeah. Mm. Like, what the if the, uh, got such a cool hat? What if pointy hoods was part of the curriculum? What if pointy hoods were really cool? That's the problem. No, no, that's the real. Well, issue. the problem, the real problem. Oh, I want to take that back that I said that so bad. <laughs> the real problem, as you just said, is not <laughs> what they do and what they believe. It's that their uniforms sucked. Right? Yeah, that's the problem right there. Never mind the small issues. Yeah. The problem is that the uniform was lame. If the, if the pointy hat and mask looked cooler then it wouldn't be that bad but they looked shitty doing it right you know that's what you're saying that's what you're saying i have seen a girl i'm i'm looking at one right now okay but counterpoint have you counterpoint have yeah you, have you really yeah are you sure i'm pretty sure i got some hands on Okay, about but real. what if you're wrong? Cool. Then I have a really good imagination. 
Didn't feel like sand at all. They're not real. It turns out you were going your own way all along. <laughs> oh, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Oh. <laughs> Is that a thing? Um, reviews in Japan were really good, and reviews in English or other languages were really bad. Oh, uh, and there's a voice uh, calibration section mm -hmm. in the beginning where it asks you to say the word lifeline. Mm -hmm. And if you say lifeline, mm -hmm. it says, fuck off, it's wrong. If you say rife rhyme, <laughs> it gives you an okay perfect. <laughs> started it showed the trailer for captain america civil war when tony uh -huh. hawk uh, excuse me <laughs> <laughs> When Tony Stark <laughs> When Tony Stark shows up in the Iron Man suit, a child in the audience excitedly yelled, Yeah, Iron Man. The trailer then continued and it ends with Cap and Bucky absolutely destroying Tony. Oh yeah, as, I remember that trailer. And as the trailer ends, I can hear a voice that sounds bordering on tears. A kid going, why are they beating up Iron Man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it! That's the best! Oh, Dude, man. He, yo, he got fucking bodied. That? Right now, it's my animated background. What's he barking at? Right now, he's barking at a serene photo of the countryside because he thinks Reggie's still there, that he's just hiding. Say Not me. me. No, dude. I don't. I don't see you during the podcast. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. I prefer that. That's good. I just wanted to confirm that the barky face was not directed at at, at me. No, no. Okay. I've had a couple we of those. The dog pictures of you. The dog is indifferent to you. Okay. Good. Why do you ask? No particular reason I don't believe you that Pat is here saying I loved Boner he loved Boner I loved it I thought Boner was a great surprise thank you for the format I couldn't have gotten enough of Boner there you go established um, those are, those other two were for you guys. You, mm -hmm. you have fun with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.